Ripple is a new plant-based food startup in the Bay Area making dairy alternatives based on pea protein. Peas are plentiful, full of vitamins, and GMO-free. I went to speak with the co-founders at their Emeryville lab and try their first product, a milk replacement for myself. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start first with the benchmark. So right now, 70% of the dairy alternative beverage category is almond milk. So we're gonna start with an unsweetened almond milk. The next thing we'll try is regular almond milk. So this is a regular soy milk. Mm-hmm. Mmm, a taste of GMO. So now I'm gonna pour you a glass of unsweetened ripple. So probably the first thing you'll notice is that it's much sort of creamier and richer in its texture. I would say it's better tasting than almond milk. This is the ripple original. Okay. It's sweet, but it has that um, thicker, it's thicker. The body comes yeah. from the fact that this has eight times the protein of almond milk. Mm -hmm and it's got um, about half, it actually has half the sugar of dairy milk. So this is our vanilla, so now we're getting into the flavored varieties. Mm -hmm. This works great as a coffee creamer, yeah, it works I can great in that. smoothies. Yeah. And then my personal favorite, I mean, who doesn't like chocolate, chocolate milk? Chocolate milk. Um, the great thing about this chocolate milk is this actually has uh, a third less sugar than chocolate milk, than chocolate dairy milk. So. It has only just a little bit more sugar. Oh man, sugar. that's really good. The dairy industry can be a pretty nasty business, polluting our environment and adding large amounts of methane in the air, which is, by the way, the biggest contributor to global warming. Most of the world is also lactose intolerant or allergic to the stuff. But the alternatives aren't great. Soy has a lot of GMO and high pesticide use, almond milk takes up a lot of precious water resources, and coconuts are expensive. Then there's the pea. Peas are plentiful, full of vitamins, and GMO-free. There are a lot of different kinds of milk products out there, almond, coconut, uh, hemp milk, soy milk. Why are you also doing a non-dairy milk company? Yeah, so, so all of those products lack one dimension or another. Nuts have a lot of nutrition, the nut milks actually don't. So all of those nut milks have maybe zero or one gram of protein per serving. Uh, compare that to dairy milk that has eight. So we saw the uh, potential to make a nutritious plant-based milk that really had all the nutrition that, uh, that uh, dairy milk has. Um, on top of that, you look at the sustainability uh, aspects of some of those, those products. So like almond milk, everybody knows that almonds are grown in the Central Valley where there's not a lot of water, but you need a lot of water in order to grow them. Uh, you know, we wanted to use crops that were more sustainable, had a better carbon footprint, had a better water footprint. And why hasn't uh, another company done milk made out of pea protein before? Yeah, so you uh, people had, and what they find is when they do that, uh, their almond milk tastes like almond milk with a little bit of peas mixed in. It's not really all that pea, that soup. pea soup, right? Exactly. It's not 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 that great of a beverage. So uh, what we do and our technology does is is, is uh, takes that pea protein and purifies it. Protein is actually, by its very nature, tasteless. There's, pea protein shouldn't taste like anything, yet. Pea protein, or soy protein, or any of those plant proteins taste like the plants that they come from, right? So what we realize is if we just strip the protein away from the color molecules and the flavor molecules, we could end up with a, a, uh, a base that was very tasteless and we could formulate on top of. But you jump from Amaris, from, uh, from another you know, bioengineering company that was successful, uh, IPO'd in 2012, and then you jumped into making milk from Protein. Yeah, it's I, for me. It's it's all about the the societal and environmental impact that, that a company or a technology can have. So I wanted to solve uh, a, an important problem in, in our food system. You look at at the sustainability impacts of uh, of our food system, and uh, dairy is actually the largest contributor of greenhouse gases. It's more than beef, more than chicken, more than eggs. Dairy contributes about 25 percent of our uh, our greenhouse gas emissions. Is your goal to make it taste like milk? Our goal is to make it taste delicious, right? High in protein, low in sugar, a really delicious uh, uh, taste and a great mouthfeel that is reminiscent of, of dairy products. So we just wanted it to be delicious and we think we've achieved that.